The True Meaning of Thanksgiving Day Jesus Christ says in John chapter 8 verse 32, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The Pagan Origin of Thanksgiving Day Often we think of Thanksgiving Day as an American holiday initiated by the Puritans and Pilgrims in Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1621. This is the story that historians have sold us for years, that the survivors of the Mayflower ship celebrated their first harvest after arriving in the New World with a feast to which the governor of Plymouth Bay, William Bradford, allegedly invited the Indian chief Massasoit and some 90 Indians. According to the story, Massasoit, the head of the Wampanoag tribe, signed a treaty of alliance with the pilgrims that year in exchange for assistance in the defense against the feared Narragansett tribe. Supposedly, that was the first Thanksgiving in the New World when the pilgrims arrived, but the origins of the Thanksgiving celebration can be traced back to the pagan harvest festivals that were celebrated in ancient times. In fact, celebrating a Thanksgiving day for an annual harvest is one of the oldest holidays known to mankind. In many ancient societies linked to the cycles of nature, festivals were associated with thanking the gods for the harvest and for the expectation of benign winters. Saturn, Romans, Osiris, Egyptians, Demeter Greeks, Ceres Romans were gods that were linked to these festivals. Through the centuries, many ancient peoples developed a number of customs and traditions that were later adopted by other peoples and nations. In ancient Chaldea, Egypt, Greece, and Rome, harvest festivals were held every year. The Romans celebrated the harvest festival in honor of their goddess Ceres, and it was called Serelia. The customs and rituals of the Roman holiday were adopted by England centuries after the disappearance of the Roman Empire. Centuries later, the English pilgrims brought the holiday to the New World in a different way. In Mexico, Chico Mecoatl, or Salonen, was the goddess of sustenance and corn in the Aztec culture. Every year, a girl representing this goddess was beheaded in celebration of the new corn harvest. Hindus and their Chinese neighbors also observe the harvested harvest with a holiday, and the Jews celebrate the harvesting of crops during the Feast of the Tabernacles, feast established by God in Leviticus chapter 23, verses 33 and 34. Long before the Christian era, gods and goddesses of the crops were worshipped with different types of rituals. Thanksgiving is generally attributed to the pilgrim colony that arrived in Plymouth, Massachusetts, but it didn't originate with them. Thanksgiving Day, by that or any other name, was known to most of the people who came to the New World from 1492 onwards. Apparently, a Thanksgiving Day is a custom in almost all European countries, and is generally due to the celebration of harvest festivals dedicated to pagan deities. These customs and traditions have taken on different meanings for different generations through the centuries. Today, people celebrate holidays like Thanksgiving that have their origins in pagan societies and customs. It is becoming increasingly obvious that Thanksgiving is not a new concept in a new land that sprang from a pilgrim's mind overnight, as most believe. Rather, it gradually grew into the Puritan culture of New England, having a more complex and ancient origin than the legend that the education system has sold us for many generations. Thanksgiving under the guise of harvest festivals can easily be traced back to ancient Babylon and different false gods and goddesses. All it takes is some research and patience to find the answers, as long as people are willing to learn the truth. Thanksgiving is a national holiday celebrated primarily in Canada and the United States as a day of giving thanks for the blessing of the harvest of the previous year. This day is celebrated on the second Monday of October in Canada and on the fourth Thursday of November in the United States. Thanksgiving has historical roots based on pagan, religious, and cultural traditions. But before the pilgrims and religious Puritans crossed the Atlantic on the Mayflower ship to reach America, they celebrated a traditional harvest festival called the Harvest Home, also known as Ingathering, celebrated since ancient times and still surviving in our own modern times in isolated regions of England. 
at the festival, participants celebrate the last day of the harvest by singing and decorating the village with branches in late September. The last sheaf of corn, grain, which represents the spirit of the field, is turned into a doll and soaked with water to look like a rain enchantment. The corn sheaf is kept until spring planting. The ancient festival also included the symbolic murder of the grain spirit, as well as rituals to drive out the devil. A similar festival was traditionally held in parts of Ireland, Scotland, and Northern Europe. On the other hand, the green corn ceremony is an annual ceremony that is practiced among various Native American peoples related to the beginning of the annual corn harvest. The ceremony has been documented throughout the forests of eastern North America and the tribes of the southeast. Historically, it consisted of a ritual of first fruits in which the community sacrificed the first of the green corn to ensure that the rest of the harvest was successful. Green corn festivals are still practiced today by native North American tribes. The green corn ceremony occurs between late July and August. In addition, dances, parties, fastings, and religious observances are held. Most of the tribes dedicated a sacred offering to the Great Spirit to ensure the blessing of an abundant harvest. All these festivals have many characteristics in common, and it is one of the reasons why historians have managed to sell the story of Thanksgiving to the people. According to recent history, in the year 1789, President George Washington was the first president to proclaim a national day of Thanksgiving. Washington hated the Indians. Then, in the year 1863, President Abraham Lincoln declared a celebration of Thanksgiving for the American Union on the fourth Thursday in November after sending the American army to execute and exterminate the starving natives of the Minnesota Sioux tribe. He later made a statement to soften the mood because the United States was tired of the Civil War and also to divert the negative international attention that the country was receiving because of the treatment towards Native Americans. In 1941, President Franklin D. Roosevelt signed a bill that set the confirmation of the fourth Thursday in November as the permanent date for that holiday. What does this celebration consist of? Exaggerated dinners including food and drinks in abundance. A day to remember the pilgrims. People watch American football on television. Decorations for Thanksgiving Day. People celebrate Black Friday. Hypocritically, Native Americans are paid homage. Thanksgiving Day equals consumerism. Hypocritically, God is thanked for everything received only once a year. And so it goes. What the majority doesn't tell. Do you remember what they taught you in elementary school? According to the story told, the pilgrims sailed from England to America fleeing a religious persecution. The pilgrims who formed the Plymouth Bay Colony were separatist Puritans who had been forced to leave England and Holland. These pilgrims believed in religious purity. They landed in what is now known as Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1621, and according to history, they barely survived their first winter. Supposedly, with the help of another Native American named Squanto of the Patuxet tribe and the natives of the Wampano tribe, the pilgrims coming from a developed nation learned how to fish, hunt, plant corn, and squash, and also received protection from them against other hostile tribes. Later, the band of colonists managed to establish a flimsy foothold in an uninhabited area of North America. According to history, Squanto was kidnapped years before by the English explorer Thomas Hunt and sent to Spain, where he was sold into slavery. Miraculously, he escaped and returned to America to live with the pilgrims for 20 months, acting as a translator, guide, and advisor, since according to the history, he learned to speak the English language very well. In 1621, the first Thanksgiving Day was celebrated for a good harvest with a tribe that helped the English pilgrims make everything possible for them, according to historians. The Massacre Never Mentioned In Plymouth, Massachusetts, you can choose between two public commemorations during the Thanksgiving celebration each year. The parade in which townspeople dress as pilgrims 
and marched to Plymouth Rock, carrying a blunderbuss, short-barreled rifle with a flared muzzle, and playing drums, and others may stand on top of Coles Hill alongside the indigenous peoples to fast in compliance with what they call a national day of mourning to remember the destruction of indigenous peoples and their culture. These two events represent radically different versions of Thanksgiving Day that historians have sold us for years. The supposed official version, the one we learn in school, essentially begins with the Mayflower's landing in 1620 in a small bay near Plymouth, Massachusetts. In the native version, the appearance of the pilgrims on the shores of America marked the beginning of the end. The pilgrims were dismissive of the natives whom they considered uncivilized. Eventually, the fragile peace between the Native Americans and the pilgrims ebbed. By rewriting its own Thanksgiving story, European America tells a Disney-styled fairy tale of how the English pilgrims supposedly struggled to survive in a harsh new environment with the help of Squanto and the Wampano tribe in 1621. History tells that Native Americans and the Pilgrims celebrated the beginning of a new friendship for three consecutive days on what we now know as the famous Thanksgiving Day. Unfortunately for the Native Americans, the gratitude of the European colonists was short-lived. In 1637, the governor of Massachusetts Bay, John Winthrop, ordered the massacre of more than 700 men, women, and children of the Pequot tribe. The next day, Winthrop would declare a Thanksgiving Day, thanking God for eliminating over 700 men, women, and children. This event marked the sad beginning of a genocide of Native Americans that would last over 200 years to complete, and of course, to achieve its ultimate goal, which was to take the land from Native Americans and systematically plunder its resources. The genocide that began in 1637 marked the beginning of the conquest of the entire continent until most of the Native Americans were exterminated. A few have been incorporated and accepted into white society, and the rest have been put in reservations to dwindle and die. For many historians, this incident was the true origin of Thanksgiving Day, which was proclaimed in 1637 by Governor John Winthrop. Understand this. Thanksgiving Day is nothing more than the deliberate celebration of the genocide of Native Americans. Unfortunately, the United States has managed to reinvent its own history in the few hundred years of its existence and has turned it into a mythological fantasy teaching, through its absurd education system, that Thanksgiving is a day to thank God for a non-existent friendship between pilgrims and Native Americans and for a simple harvest. However, this story that we've been told through the years by the education system is a complete lie. If for the separatist Puritans and also pilgrims, the Native Americans were uncivilized and heretics, why didn't they educate them and teach them the word of God? Instead of murdering them all, since they consider themselves civilized Christians. 1 John chapter 4 verse 8 teaches, He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. These wicked acts of murder and massacre were not honored by God. He has nothing to do with Thanksgiving Day. Understand this, you who celebrate this pagan holiday. Note that on the fourth Thursday of November of each year, many people, including Christians, celebrate the genocide of native peoples who inhabited our continent. The Lies Perpetrated by History the so-called Christians celebrate this diabolical holiday deliberately, ignoring what the Bible teaches us in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. Therefore, go out from their midst and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch no unclean thing, then I will welcome you. If you celebrate it, you are as unclean as the incredulous who celebrates it. Jesus Christ says in Matthew chapter 15, verse 8, This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts is far from me. Do you understand what the Lord is saying, or will you continue to celebrate pagan holidays? As the pilgrims disembarked from the Mayflower, they named the land Plymouth Rock. However, history has always hidden from us the fact that the village was already called Patuxet, and the Wampano Indians lived there for thousands of years. For most people in North America, Plymouth Rock is a symbol. Very sad, but true. 
that many people believe that it is the rock on which the American nation began. The famous Thanksgiving Day seems like a harmless holiday. However, its roots are linked to paganism. Easter, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas are holidays that share similarities and date back to ancient Babylon. Many foods that are served during these festivities were part of the pagan worship of strange gods that God hated. How does God view the custom of celebrating Thanksgiving? The holiday was established in recent centuries by the first settlers and not by God. Also, it is not mentioned in the Bible. Know it well. Thanksgiving Day is synonymous with the massacre of the Pequot tribe. When the Europeans arrived in 1492, the native population was about 15 million and it was a prosperous civilization. Nearly four centuries later, the Native American population dwindled to less than a million. This awful genocide was perpetrated against them by a systematic mass murder and also by diseases, especially smallpox spread by the pilgrims. The famous Thanksgiving Day is the American Holocaust that you celebrate every year. Should we thank God for the theft of Native American lands by settlers? Should we thank God for a nation that prospered by supporting the slavery of another human race? Should we thank God for a nation that was founded on the genocide of another human race? The main purpose of the colonialist Puritans and the Pilgrims were capitalism, slavery, and genocide. God is the one who is always blamed. Many who've read the crooked story of Thanksgiving immediately point their finger at God. To blame him for the genocide of Native Americans caused by the Puritans and Pilgrims. They will also dare to say that according to history, the Puritans quoted Psalms 2.8, Romans chapter 13, verse 2, and other biblical quotes to justify their actions. However, for those of us who know the Bible, we would say to these people that God has nothing to do with Thanksgiving Day. All the events that occurred during this dark time in human history have been perpetrated by man himself and not by God. Thanksgiving is a satanic holiday created by Satan, who always imitates everything that Jehovah God has created. Christians should not celebrate this day. If the world wants to celebrate it, let it celebrate it. If you as a Christian celebrate it, you are an unclean and hypocritical Christian before God, and you will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. In Leviticus chapter 23, God established seven appointed feasts for his people to celebrate to honor him. We as the church are part of that people. We don't need the world and its pagan holidays. Just as the prophet Daniel and the three Hebrew youths refused to contaminate themselves with the food and customs of the Babylonians, we must also reject everything that belongs to the world, including pagan holidays. There are no excuses to celebrate them. 2 John chapter 1 verse 9 teaches, Whosoever goeth onward and abideth not in the teaching of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the teaching, the same hath both the Father and the Son. Know it well. Eating certain foods isn't sinful, because everything comes from God. But if you eat them by celebrating pagan holidays that God hates, you become a partaker in the unfruitful works of darkness mentioned in the Bible in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11. God must be thanked every day. Our attitude must always be of gratitude to God for all that we receive every day of our lives and not on a specific day of the year. We must thank Him every single day, every single moment for every single situation we've experienced. By thanking God for something that we receive, we do it in weakness, scarcity, in sickness, in loneliness, in sadness, in happiness, and in abundance. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 2 says, And many will follow their sensuality, and because of them the way of the truth will be blasphemed. Beware, Christian. Thus says Jehovah God. Amen. Dear friend, I invite you to receive Jesus Christ as your only Savior. He says in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. Acts chapter 16 verse 31 says, Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Accept Jesus Christ today. Pause the video on the next page and say the prayer audibly.